Antonio Banderas was a hot commodity in the 90s and while he was from Spain, he ended up putting down roots in Los Angeles for most of his career. Aside from his main mansion there, he's also lived in stunning properties from Colorado to New York City and more. Spanish film actor Antonio Banderas is probably best remembered by North American audiences for his performance as Zorro in the late 90s and early 2000s revival of the character in films like The Mask of Zorro. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Prior to becoming one of Spain's most successful Hollywood would export, Spenderas longed to become a professional football player. Unfortunately, a child injury would derail those plans. Rather than stick to the field, Banderas signed up for acting classes and eventually joined a theater troupe that would tour across the country of Spain. After making a name for himself in his home country in a series of critically acclaimed films, Banderas would cross over to Hollywood with his debut in The Mambo Kings in 1992. The following year, he'd play Tom Hanks' devoted lover in the Academy Award-winning picture Philadelphia. By the mid-90s, Antonio was one of the most in-demand actors in Hollywood and that's when he began dating actors actress Melanie Griffith while shooting the film Too Much. In 1996, these two were married in London, a marriage that would last nearly two decades. Throughout the course of their relationship, they'd use their considerable shared net worth to purchase a series of spectacular homes, like their longtime mansion in LA, a retreat in Aspen, Colorado, and even a penthouse in the heart of Manhattan. But eventually, this Hollywood love story would come to an end. During their divorce, the pair would sell off their properties and Antonio would move out of the country, settling into a uniquely designed kit home located in the village of Cobham, Surrey, in England. Hey guys, it's Kara, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And if you've ever wondered where Zorro likes to hang up his cape, today we're checking out the homes of Antonio Banderas. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Antonio Banderas and his newlywed wife Melanie Griffith acquired their first home, the Isidore Eisner Estate, in 1999 for a reported $4.2 million. This Gordon Kaufman designed 1925 Spanish meets Italian revival style mansion is located in LA's historic neighborhood of Hancock Park and was actually the first of two properties the actors bought. The following year, they purchased the house right next door to their original home for an additional $1.3 million. They then raised that second property to the ground and used additional acreage to extend and renovate their first. The end result was a double gated 15,110 square foot mansion located on 1.55 acres of land. Listing details reveal a home that includes seven bedrooms, seven full baths, and even three half baths including a celebrity style primary bedroom with two bathrooms and double dressing rooms. Further features boast a grand entry space, a double height banquet hall, and a formal dining room with coffered ceiling. And those rooms are really just a half of it. Other first class amenities built right into the place include a paneled library, a recording studio, fitness room, and if you can believe it, a stunning two story kitchen. Of course, when you've got a culinary space that's bigger than most people's bachelor pads, you're also gonna need staff to keep the property running smoothly. Thankfully, this place comes with an apartment entirely dedicated for any on-site help. There's also an extensive security system to keep the occupants safe and, of course, a swimming pool set privately into a gorgeous central courtyard. After moving in here during the late 90s, Antonio and Melanie would make it their primary home up until they split in the mid-2010. At that point, they placed the home on the market, asking for $16.1 million. About 10 days later, Antonio and Melanie settled for $15.9 million, officially making this unit the highest price ever paid for a single family home in the Hancock Park District. They then turned their sights to their vacay pad in Aspen. Much like with their family home in Los Angeles, Antonio and Melanie bought their snowbound home in Aspen, Colorado in two separate transactions, totaling around $5 million in February of 2002. This nearly 12 acre spread is located located about 10 miles outside of town on the backside of Aspen Mountain, and the main house is a 12-room residence. Inside, there's over 6,000 square feet of space, including
including five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and a garage big enough for three cars. In terms of the second property, well, it acts more like a guest house and boasts one bedroom and one bath, along with a fully stocked kitchen. But let's concentrate on the interior of the two-story main residence first. It features a rustic and luxurious open-plan living space under a series of high-pitched gables and a vaulted ceiling with a system of arched trusses. Not to mention a freestanding fireplace that perfectly divides the lounge from the dining area. Meanwhile, the attached kitchen offers some sleek stainless steel cabinets, a butcher blocked topped island with a raised snack counter, as well as some colorful ceramic tile countertops and accents. There's even some saloon style swinging doors that mark the entrance to a generous walk-in pantry. Then there are multiple glass doors that line the main floor living space and open up to a wraparound brick terrace with a built-in fire pit, hot tub, and some picture-perfect panoramic views of the mountains and the surrounding woods. Other amenities include a separate billiards room as well as an impressively large wine cellar and tasting room. Upstairs are the guest and family bedrooms which include a bunk bedroom with two sets of beds crafted from logs. Then for the master suite, it boasts wood paneled walls, a vaulted exposed wood ceiling, glass sliders to a private deck, and an ensuite with twig accented cabinets, a tiled soaking tub, as well as a steam shower with built in bench seating. There's also a historic log cabin on the premises. It's located just below the guest house and boasts a small deck with a wood burning stove and the low ceiling, along with a cozy skylit living room. Shortly after successfully selling their LA home, Antonio and Melanie listed this property for $10 million. Unfortunately, they couldn't find a buyer immediately, so they wound up simply renting the place out for a few years at $65,000 a month before eventually selling it all together for $4 million. Then it came time to figure out what to do with their New York City penthouse. Stunning Central Park views, immaculate furnishings, and oversized everything are just a few of the perks when it comes to Antonio's former New York City penthouse. The once happily married couple bought the property property in 2005 for 4 million in New York City's swanky district of Central Park West. Located in an opulently decorated 12-story French Second Empire style building that was built in 1907, the apartment complex known as the Prasada offers its residents a long list of amenities. These include a full-time doorman, elevator operators, a live-in resident manager, private bike storage, and a fully stacked fitness center. The home boasts four bedrooms bedrooms and four bathrooms, as well as details that you'd no doubt expect, including 11 foot high ceilings, polished chevron patterned oak floors, and 50 feet of personal Central Park frontage. The penthouse also includes a boldly colored ceiling that brightens up the octagon-shaped foyer and a living room nearly 30 feet long in length with a decorative fireplace at the far end. Over in the dining room, there's some jet black lacquered work going on while the kitchen is definitely compact but also expensively outfitted and arranged with its own cozy dining space. Upon splitting up, Antonio and Melanie didn't immediately sell this home. Instead, Antonio bought Melanie out of her share of the apartment in 2016. He then listed the home in 2018 for around $8 million. It's unclear if anyone has ever taken him up on his offer at this point in time. If not, it might have something to do with the common charges that can amount to as much as $8,500 a month. Last but not least, we've come to the home Antonio moved into next. After splitting from his longtime partner, he needed to put some real distance between himself and Melanie, so he bought a totally unique home unlike any he had owned before in the village of Cobham in Surrey, England. While searching for homes with his girlfriend Nicole Kimple, Antonio was introduced to what many believe to be the Rolls Royce of Kit Homes, a brand known as Huff House. There are roughly 200 of these distinctive homes located all across the UK, and prices start at around $620,000, not accounting for the cost of land itself, of course. Once buyers settled on one of these homes, they travel to Germany, where they get to choose everything from the size and layout of the rooms to even tinier details like the light switches and bathroom tiles. So let's take 
take a look at Antonio's one-of-a-kind home, shall we? He spent around $3 million in total on the land and design of the house, which he then had transported to a beautiful parcel he picked out in Cava. As for why he selected this out-of-the-way village in the first place, he explained, I find Surrey completely magical. I'm not a party person anymore, so I have the space and peace to write and really get inside my own head. Above all, I am surrounded by nature. I love watching the deer and foxes that come to my garden. Constructed in 2015, his home spans over 5,000 square feet of space and boasts five bedrooms as well as five baths. Every room comes styled in neutral tones with white walls and cream stone floors. There's also a lot of black wood beams located around the property to provide some stark contrast. Inside you'll discover an extremely colorful open plan living room that's only steps away from multiple other spaces. For instance, the dining room section of the space open ups to both the living room and kitchen to ensure easy access and also located on the main floor is the media room that Antonio transformed into a full fledged movie theater. Rounding things out down here is a home gym as well as a sauna. Upstairs, the butterfly split roof allows for a ton of natural light to float in through all three floors and located on the second floor is his master suite which also offers a dressing room and a five star ensuite bath made almost entirely out of glass. On the very same floor are two further bedrooms which are both connected to each other through a shared bath. Up on the top floor are the two remaining bedrooms, each of which comes with a private balcony to enjoy as much nature as you can handle. And there's even a mezzanine space located on this level that can be turned into a study or an extra guest room. Despite his love for this custom home, he placed it on the market and has decided to return to his native home of Spain where he will settle back into his hometown of Malaga, a town where he built a new theater in recent years. Alright, well that's going to conclude our Antonio Banderas house tour. It's not clear where he's moving to in Spain property wise, but I'm sure that we'll soon find out. Well, be sure to let me know your thoughts on his homes we did look at down in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye!